Do you have something at home that doesn't work well and you don't know how to fix it yourself? Call now, husbands for hire. Any problem with your plumbing? I can unclog it easily. In the dark, I can turn it all on in seconds. There's no hole I can't fill. Don't get your hands dirty. Let me do it for you. We can help you, husbands for hire. Husbands for hire? What kind of curious ad is this? I've never seen anything like it. But I'll call about that redhead. Let's see how well it works. A leaflet? Your agency. It's an invitation to a wedding. I get married. It's finally time to take that step. All my friends are getting married. Who will... What? He's getting married. It took me too long to confess my love. Who is that taking him away from my side? I don't care who you are. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, this... Hiroshima Ejiro, do not miss. There it says my name! I was invited to my own wedding! It's a cute little bear, don't you think? It's so cheesy. How did you get so many? Uh, hello, my love! You tell me. Did you say my love? So sweet! Uh, I, I... Uh, I suppose. Yes, he is my boyfriend. Any problem? No problem. Uh, boyfriends? This is so much fun. I'm liking boys' night a lot. The next one who touches him must say true. Hurry up, I have to go to sleep. Very well. I will turn it. I hope to get lucky. It seems that it's your turn to accept truth or dare, my friend. I've been waiting all night to ask you a question, Kirishima, so please accept truth. If you want so much, ask me something, just do it. I choose truth. It is clear that you like someone. Tell us the name of that person. I gave my word. It wouldn't be manly not to comply. Then I'll do it. But I just want you not to take this as a joke or make fun of me. Why? Just say the name, here! Bakugo! It's Bakugo that I like! Why do you think we would make fun of you? Wow, Kirishima, you just confessed your love! <laughs> it's just that it's the first time I said it out loud, and I'm terrified that our friendship will be ruined by my feelings! Why would you screw it up? Do you think I can't trample on those feelings? Not when I feel the same way about you! It's time to get out of here. But I want to see if they're going to kiss. So stop crying. You didn't mess anything up. Aren't you upset? Just because you didn't tell me before. Kirishima House. Hey, man, I'm telling you now I'm going to marry your son. Is that the way to ask for my son's hand? My baby's getting married. This moment is what I always dreamed of. Listen, I promise to give him my whole life. He will never lack for anything. I will make Kirishima smile every day and I'll never make him cry. So manly. So, if you're gonna do that, we give you permission to marry our son, cheeky boy. I can only ask for grandchildren soon, please. House of the Bakugo. Please allow me to have Bakugo as my husband. I ask permission to give me your hand. Of course, yes, but are you sure you want to have a husband as loud as Bakugo? Bakugo will be fine in your hands, Kirishima. Shut up! Why do you have to get that I'm gonna scream all the time? I'm not like that with him! I'm sure I want to be the husband of Japan's most amazing hero. Mom, let's get married and we will be very happy. Since we've been dating, Kirishima sends me a picture of him every day. I really like you so much. Everything reminds me of you. When I see the line, I can't help but think that they look very similar. Your hair messed up like that and those teeth so sharp. Pfft, I'm talking stupid. Does being in love make you so ridiculous? Hi, Bakugo. I brought you a drink for the heat. <clears throat> that lion looks like me, don't you think? <laughs> Huh? How do you believe that nonsense? Do you want him to be treated like an animal? Let me check your mouth then, red hot lion. Uh, my mouth? Maybe my tongue needs a bit of the... Let's go to the bathroom now, Kirishima! The villain's quirk is very peculiar, so it makes him a complicated opponent. Do not underestimate him. And still, the heroes of that area can't catch him. The villain has already robbed four banks so far this month. We have to catch it! Do you have any idea where he can hide it? Kirishima, link your cell phone and show them the possible location. An informant gave us a location that may be the key to catching him tonight. Look. Uh, you got the wrong icon, but cute lingerie. How naughty are you guys? <laughs> already suspected that you two were onto something. Kirishima? Oh no, the cutest photograph of Bakugo. I am sorry. Bakugo is my boyfriend. He sends me such beautiful photos. <laughs> They already realized, shitty hairs. Why don't you hide those kind of pictures? Bakugo's dream. Mm. Once again, I dreamed those erotic things with Kirishima. Shit, do not get up. It's so hard now because of my dreams. It's all his fault for wanting to sleep next to me. Scary who can't stand a horror movie. I only let him stay in my bed because I like him so much. 
Stupid and sexy Kirishima. Uh, talks in his sleep. Akako, no. No, please, don't do it. He's having a nightmare. Should I wake him up? No, please, Bakugo, you can't marry her. I love you. Marry me. <laughs> Damn, why did you have to confess in your sleep? I will only marry you, Kirishima. Mm. Oh, I had such a nice dream. I slept very well next to you. You have cute dreams, Bakugo? I, I don't remember what I dreamed. Stop breaking balls. <sighs> Still looks great on you. Shut up, Mike. This is not a flower crown. So many people. Hold my hand tight. Don't get lost. Okay, I won't get lost. Jeez, so many people. Mike Shoe. <laughs> oh no. Quick, put these on. Not again. Ah! Earth is dangerous. Where the heck did he go? Mike? Izashi? Hmm. What is this? Is this gonna kill me when I open it? Ah, uh, no way. Stop overthinking it. Just open it, eraser head. To EP head. Merry Christmas. I brought the kids to the mall. You, your idiot, Hisashi. <laughs> that idiot. What the heck? Why can't I sleep? What time is it? Only 7 a.m. Okay, I will try to sleep. Come on, Hisashi. Just close your eyes. Drilling sounds! Bing! Mother! Ah! What the? Hisashi, it is only 7 a.m. Shut up! And I have told you so many times to not scream like that! Oh, gee, look, spider webs! These aren't spider webs, the walls are cracking. Ah! Hey. If I worked hard enough, if I were stronger, it wouldn't have happened, right? What? Hisashi, I did it! Spotlight? I don't want that. Idiot. You'll be my idiot from now on. This is nothing. Razorhead. I did it, Hisashi! I mastered the capture weapon! It must get stronger. Sorry, Hisashi. I need to train after school. But it's just a few injuries. My hands are dying. So what? Shota. You are the most hardworking person I have ever known. Arguing. Uh. <laughs> Shota! I am sorry, forgive me, Shota! Don't leave me here! Stop it. You are lying. I am really not joking. Did someone just tap our shoulders? No, it's probably just the wind. Anyway, Shota, there really were five kins! Fine. Let's go to the cat cafe later. Hey! Shota, Izashi, you guys really grew up a lot. Honey, what are you doing? Um, cuddling? Trying to, at least. No good? Uh, it's perfect! <laughs> uh, uh, achoo! Here. Thanks. You know what they say? Three sneezes means someone loves you. <laughs> sure. Who would that be? What about All Might? <laughs> we only met once, and if I wasn't out cold, I was yelling at him. Why would he like that? Boys are weird? That moment at All Might's apartment. Iron Maiden, huh? Aren't you cute? New hero to be with new promise. Hope is real. I'll guide the way to a better way. I look forward to seeing you again. But Grizzy, it hurts! Okay, come here. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. What are you reading? The kids have been calling us dummy thick lately, and I want to know what it means. Definition. When your ass cheeks clap so loud, everyone around you hears. When it's thick, but like more than just regular thick. Like really, really thick. When your thighs are twice the weight of the rest of your body combined. <laughs> I'm not working out with you anymore. Huh, huh, let's go. Iron we got. Uh, Never mind, we got it. Just, yeah, we're good. <sighs> but he said they had it. But he said they had it. That's why I'm worried. That's my cape. And get Thorn a new bar. Oh, right. Because of the bar. They completely did not have it. Uh, uh, uh. You two kissed, and I missed it. Do it again. I mean, uh, uh, please. Okay, but I want to hear all about it tomorrow. Right, All Might? <laughs> hmm. Yay! She held his hand. I do not remember that last time Sis held a guy's hand like that. Come on. Huh? 
She's right. This is the first time you publicly took my hand. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Thank you. Uh, beep, boop, boop. Hmm? Oh. It looks like they brought back my favorite design. There's an odd comfort about these Christmas traditions, especially these holiday-themed movies. Almost makes me forget about our Christmas project for Hexide. Wait, what project? Oh, Principal Bump assigned us to make a presentation about the history of Christmas. Yeah, we have to explain the origins of the holiday as well as any traditions and symbolism. Right, I was mean to ask what the deal is with that prowler in red that breaks into people's homes on Christmas Eve. Wait, what? I went to that palace with the bell tower and the big room with all the benches to investigate. From what I gathered, Christmas is the birthday of this zombie guy, and you have to recite some spell and give offerings to avoid his wrath. Oh, what time do you usually set the Christmas traps around your house? I was hoping to see how it's done. You set traps at Christmas? Are they for the zombie or the guy in red? Maybe we can just let Luz explain how Christmas started and what it's about. Wow, I'm not entirely sure I can. Don't stress, Rosquilla. Just give us your best interpretation. So, let's see. I guess it goes back to the beginning of our world. There are legends of the Earth being made by, a. Uh, do you guys even have gods? Anyway, it was like a powerful giant? So, something like a titan then? Actually, yeah. Anyway, this god had a kid and sent it into the world to live among the people. Hey, that sounds a lot like King. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I finish my story, you? <laughs> so, what adventures did your Titans kid get up to, Luz? Well, I think he traveled a lot, reaching out to people everywhere. He passed on the teachings of this creator to those he visited. It was said that the son's word was that of his father and must be followed. Only he was allowed to speak for the creator. For anyone else to try was seen as sacrilegious. Wait a minute. Oh, and his teachings were also super strict. You could only follow him and had to renounce all other spiritual paths. Let's see. He also had a group of disciples. And he swore to his followers they would enter a promised land. What the heck? Are you telling us this holiday celebrates bellows? Bellows? No, no, no. This guy is nothing like Bellows. I don't know. He sure sounds an awful lot like Bellows to me. He's not. I promise. This guy is way nicer. Yeah? How many people did this Christmas guy petrify for defying him? No, nobody got petrified. They were just doomed to an eternity of fire and agony. That kind of sounds objectively worse. Is there even any evidence of his existence of this promised land? Uh, not that I know of. What else do you think was forbidden? Hopefully there weren't any restrictions on relationships. Hey, 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 hey! That's enough, guys! Look, I only know what I've been told. I don't know the absolute truth of meaning behind Christmas entirely. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the correlation between crucifixion and chocolate rabbits. I'm sorry, but I'm not the best source of info for this. As far as I'm concerned, Christmas is just about exchanging gifts and enjoying time spent with friends and family. So, you know, let's just keep doing that for now. Talk to me. Where are my detonators? Where are they or shall I shoot another one? Sooner or later, I might get to someone you do care about. Hey, what did those chocolate rabbits do to get crucified anyway? My favorite flower? Yes, yes, what is your favorite flower, Ochako? Mine are hydrangeas. I like roses. Water lilies. Forget me not. Hmm. Well, I've always liked sunflowers. Oh, that totally suits you, Ochako. <laughs> really? Uh, later. Uh, Raka, you, you, um, you want to go home together? Hmm? Sure. <coughs> Deku? Eep. Where are we going? We missed our turn. Sorry, Raka. Just follow me for a bit, okay? Uh, okay, sure. Oh, Raka, can you close your eyes for a bit? What? Oh, sure. Well, you trust me that easily? Of course I do. I trust you with my life, Deku. Mm, come on, I'll guide you. Are you floating yet, Deku? Don't worry, I'm fine. Good, I'm glad. Okay, open your eyes, Araka. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Surprise! Son of my life. 
Rokasan! Have you seen Ida? Oh, Takakun! Takakun, your ugly face is showing! A ponytail! S so cute! Sorry, Rokasan. Can you c call me by my first name? <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'll do it! Huh? Izu. 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 Izuku! Uh, um, can you call me by my first name now, please? Oh, 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 she called me creepy. Maybe because she saw your weird lock screen of her. I'm being treated like Roman and James. Mm. Mm. Hi, um, is Will home? No way. Will got a girlfriend while I was gone? Girlfriend? No, I'm not. He's not. I'm here for a class project. Yo, Will, your girlfriend is at the door. <laughs> Stop yelling. What the do you want? Lena? Mm. Excuse us for a moment. Do you really call her strawberry? Ah, you're adorable, bro. I'm gonna kill you! What did you tell her? Your babies are gonna be so cute. I only have Hello Kitty and my little pony band-aids. Which one do you want? You can pick. Gee, thanks, Nurse Strawberry. Mm. Watching my little pony. Darn, the horses sing too. <laughs> hey, the yellow and pink one kind of reminds me of you. Really? She's my favorite. It's so obvious he has a thing for me. Anyways, are you going to Wyatt's party on Friday? I don't get it. I have to do what's in the parentheses first, Cassie. Ugh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> don't you get it? I want you dead, Cassie. Really? Because I think you meant to say, I want you, Cassie. <laughs> Also, get out of my party. You weren't invited. You were supposed to scare her. What was that? I knew I should have just gone with the chocolate milk plan. At least I was able to steal her toothbrush. Sumner, can you come over and turn off my light? I don't want to get up. Cassie, are you drunk? Yeah, yeah, we're coming. We might be a little late. She's explaining the entire FNAF. X's. It was so cringe, bro. It was pretty bad. <laughs> Me plus Joe. Z -z 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 daddy. You still call your dad daddy? Are you sure you belong in the advanced class? Hi, Joe! <laughs> OMG, you need to tell me about your tutor. Is he hot? <laughs> eee, you like him! You like a nerd? Just because I want to take over the earth with him and make out as everything goes up in flames doesn't mean I like him, Kate. <laughs> Total world domination with Sumner and Cass. <laughs> uh, James? Hey, did you get shorter during the summer? How are you so smart? You're like, so smart. Can you show me how to do this one? You explain it better than Mr. Wilson. You're probably way smarter than him anyway. The perfect test subject for my evil experiments. Ugh, whatever. Just don't turn me into a frog. They're nasty. Uh, 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 huh? Anya! I just felt dizzy for a moment. I didn't remember the amount of thoughts that are in places like this. Anyway, let's rest for a while, okay? Okay. Better now? Yeah, sorry for making you worry. Maybe it was just too crowded. Heh. <laughs> why are you pouting now? I'm not. And why do you always deny the obvious? It's just... I was worried something bad could happen to you. Or even... Or that maybe you left because you weren't having fun. <laughs> Why are you laughing now? <laughs> I never imagined Saya could be so cute. <laughs> it's actually the contrary. I've never had so much fun than today with Damien. Hmm? Uh, uh, is that so? Yes. <laughs> Stop patting my head, by the way. Well then, if you feel better, why don't we go to drink something? Damien is really adorable. I never thought... Do you agree? That Damien can make me so happy without asking nothing from me. Huh? Huh? Damien! 
What is it? Are you feeling bad again? Everything's okay now. No. Wow! We're here! Since we stayed just one day, I'm gonna do all I can. We'll have a lot of fun! All she can? I'm concerned. Ah! 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 <laughs> hey, Anya, I get you're happy, but calm down a bit. It's already afternoon. How can I calm down? I'm too happy. Okay, okay, but what about rest for a while? We should. It's okay having fun, but it's also important to relax and eat something typical. Okay. I want your special peanut ice cream cup. Of course, miss. You sure? Ice cream? I mean, it's cold. That's not what I had in mind when I said something typical. Anya want to try it, absolutely. As you wish. There's no problem, because here it's warm. Really warm. Oh. Anya! <sighs> <sighs> well, I should have predicted it would have gone this way. She's so cute. Here's your order. Thank you. What should I do? She didn't wake up yet. Did I fall asleep? Damien... Ah! Oh, are you finally awake? Damien ate my ice cream! My peanut ice cream! He betrayed me! How could you, Scion? Not only you didn't wake me up, you also ate my ice cream! <laughs> what should I do? I didn't want to wake you up, but the ice cream was going to melt! Anyway, predicting your reaction... I've already ordered another one. Huh? Here, for you, miss. Thank you! This time you handled yourself. Ooh. Of course I did. I'm the best. <laughs> Yum! Nom, nom, nom. Well, good night. This Althium still loves sleeping. Ugh, can this Althium stay here tonight? I don't like dreams where I feel lonely. This is a dream after all, right? I will forget it when I wake up. <sighs> Scoot over. Yes, sir. Now what? Starts calculating every single scenario. Cozy. Uh, isn't it? What am I doing? What are we doing? I can't even look at him right now. What am I going to do? What is he going to do? Error. This has to be a dream. And he fell asleep. It was the only scenario he hasn't thought about. <sighs> I can't believe he fell asleep this fast. He must be so tired, as always. He looks so calm and peaceful when he's sleeping. No pain, no suffering, no yelling at me. Pretty. I shouldn't do this. He needed a place to stay and I helped him. He is grateful as an old friend. Now he wants to be on his own. I don't want to let him go. I can make him stay here somehow, but he's not feeling okay here. I can't force him. Careful, but better go before he wakes up. I don't want to bring more confusion with this. This was my first and last night with him. And it won't be real for him, how funny. Good night, Kaveh. Sadly, the dream is over. The dream... is over. All them? Wasn't he... with me last night? Was I really dreaming? What happened? When did I fall asleep? Cozy. Why does it feel like... hurtful yet a beautiful memory? No, it cannot be real. There's no reason for him to... stay with me for the night. It must be a dream. An oddly realistic one. I should leave before my thoughts bring out the worst in me. I hope this isn't too much weight for you, Merak. I made some adjustments. We will see how it goes. That's what I like to hear. <coughs> Looks like you're done. Yeah, I don't have much stuff after all. You can take whatever you need with you, you know. Not just your stuff. You know, I would never do that. I know. Don't go. Please don't go. Don't leave me. I don't want this. Please, say it. don't let me go. Don't let me leave you. I don't want this. Kava, all the things I've said last night, I meant all of it. I believe in your potentials. You'll break through. And I wish you good luck with your new life. Take care. Still with a distant attitude, huh? You can fool everyone with that. Everyone but me. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Alright, enough with this awkward farewell. I will write to you when I figure things out. Uh, you take care of yourself, too. For one last time, I waited for him to break the silence. But all I could hear was my fast heartbeats. Didn't. He just... left. He just... let me go. Three months later. Sir, I thought you were off work today. <sighs> I was. 
I came here to grab some books, but I realized there was an important matter that I should look more into, so if you'll excuse me, I'll be working. I've heard about your injury. Um, excuse me for overstepping boundaries here, but are you feeling okay, sir? I saw Master Tainari just a minute ago. I can bring him here if you want. My arm is fine. Go back to your work. But okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm definitely bringing Master Tainari here. <laughs> Will there be a day when people just mind their own business, I wonder? Everyone's getting on my nerves more and more ever since he left. Kava's letter. I should stop carrying this letter with me. But its presence makes my day a little more bearable. He wrote to me two weeks after he left. I thought he would come back soon, but he never did. Can't tell if it was a false prediction or an expectation of mine. Then I got his letter and he wrote that everything was going well for him. He visited his mother in Fontaine, as expected. The scenery was so beautiful, I was already catching inspiration from every place I visited. I finally visited my mother. I told her about what I was going through. Judging by the look she gave me while I was talking to her, I thought she took pity on me. I felt so miserable and already started to question my choices here. But she apologized instead. She said she shouldn't have gone and let me deal with all that trouble on my own. And she said she was so proud of me for dealing a lot of things at once, and she wants to be there when I need her. I'm glad we had the talk. I needed it. Working at Fontaine is challenging, but I am getting used to it. I also got myself a wonderful client. She is so easygoing, she's a lot of work for me. My hard work is really paying off. Finally, the universe started to show a little bit of its kindness to me. I thank my lucky stars every day. And after a long time, Kave sounded so positive and happy about his life. I was happy for him, but then I realized he has no reason to come back now. Still haven't written a response letter to him? Since when did you start disrespecting other people's privacy? Hmm, let me think. After those people start to not act like themselves, maybe. What happened there, Otham? You were acting so reckless, that's so not you. Thankfully, Sino was with you there. I can't help but notice, your mind is always somewhere else. And it all started after Kave left Sumeru. You don't even go home anymore. Did Kaveh put a curse on you before he left? It has nothing to do with Kaveh. It was just some miscalculations happening at the same time, that's all. Also, he's not coming back anytime soon. Let him be. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Hmm? Did you say something? Oh, nothing. Go get rest. Almost. See you. I could try to take some rest after getting my medication. I hate the silence in this house. I hope I fall asleep quickly this time. Where's this key? There's no way I forgot it. I think I have what you want. <laughs> See what I did there? Feels like deja vu, isn't it? I guess I caught you off guard. <laughs> Boy, Altham. Did you have some type of an amnesia too? It's me, Kaveh. Say hi at least, this is getting awkward. Did you just take off your headphones? That's new. Hi. Uh, hi. 